Well, happy Valentine's Day, guys. Yeah, me too. I wish I could say the same to your wife if Mrs. LeBron was there. I don't think she's going to be coming soon. I really want to get to know her and your daughter. She seems like a like my only biggest fan. She's been liking you since she first saw you. Yeah, for what version exactly? Daffy. <clears throat> so, what do you want to do tomorrow? You want to go out for a game? Um, a game? No. Last time I done it, that's where I met you guys. I see. Why don't we just go on a little picnic? Sure. If you go on a picnic, can you bring Pussyfoot with you? I'm pretty sure I would like to see you two get along. Maybe, but I'm still rehearsing. Um, Lola, you've been rehearsing your lines for years and still hasn't been, been, um, what's the word? Produced or published, you mean? Yeah, that's right, published. I see why. At least tell me who's going to be your valentine before the day is over. Hmm. I don't know. I choose um who will be my valentine. Hmm. Probably just Lola because she's always my valentine. Really? Oh, no, you don't. Not this time. You'll be my valentine for a day, at least until the clock strokes 12. Okay, first off, Daffy, my boyfriends need to have a good mint. And second, I don't date guys who are loaded with greed, especially when you ditch bugs for for gold at the giant's castle. Hey, I was just craving. And I wish I should have gave you a role for this episode if I didn't get my ignorance out of place. You're lucky that there's a fan who did it for you only because he's interested. Yeah, he's been interested for a while. Okay, then. Can I be your Valentine, LeBron, if it's okay with you? Oh, no, I'm not gay with you. Sorry. Yeah, right. So what do you say, toots? Pucker up. Do you have other girls you want to hang out with someone with your feathers? I know. But yet, she's still not there yet. How long is it going to take? Look, Daffy, I know you're still marooned since the last time you spoke with Melissa. But I promise you, one of these days, sooner or later, she will appear. If I have to say Tiny Toons University, for example, when when um, she gets a mentor. I see why. Well, at least I'm still rumored that I'm going to be in this new series. And Babs, I can't wait to teach her to be an athlete. Yeah, you should. You better do some kind of family episode because I'm desperate. Okay, I'll give it a best shot. So, what do you want for Valentine's Day? Well, you do know that all I want is my own short films, but thanks to Ugly Duckling over here who keeps butting my way every time, I still have to be marooned and silent for another 26 years. Hey, I can't help it. The fans love me. No, they don't. They only admire you when, you, when they're forced to. And I don't think they're going to like you again until you fulfill the promise like everyone else did, even though it's something I also could have done. Okay, look, Bugs, don't you get tired of treating your sh franchise as a series for men, despite being one myself? Um, yeah, sometimes I get tired. And so do my fans. They want something brand new. Yeah, something that doesn't have to do with boys. Otherwise, there's a reason why the studio who owns us is called Warner Brothers. Because everyone around you, especially DC... Our brothers. You mean men. Exactly. But what happens if there was a, a studio called Warner Sisters? If there was Warner Sisters, it would be different. Like, I'm the one who's going to be silent until they decide to use me. Yeah, me too. At least tell me which, which, what will you do for Valentine's if this ever happened? Well, I'm not sure yet. Other than getting my own short films, 
First thing I want is to have my own series where it's just a girl show. Because I know DC has already made theirs twice. And I'm impressed and a little teensy jealous. But I'm going to need some recruits to join me. Especially what if we do a third Space Jam movie where I'm the main protagonist. Just in case it's based on pure emotions. Well, there's only one way they, they can focus your eyes on you. The only way you'll be the protagonist is I'm the one who should be kidnapped. Along with you, Daffy, and the rest of our gang. Wait, there's no way I'm being kidnapped. And also, how's that going to work? Restraining order. And then later, all that's left are just girls. Just you and Granny. Yeah, I, at least Granny for once is the is the original leading female before you. True. But except she's not Bugs' love interest. Well, except for one episode. Yeah, I only, was, I only did that to fool Sam, but it's worth it. Yeah, next time let's show a new, let's do a new one where you and I are fighting over her. No offense, but isn't she too old to be your love interest? Um, yeah, but at the end, it turns out she has a big surprise for both of us. Her. Yep. But if we need leading females, let's count a few characters who should celebrate Valentine's any time soon. Okay, then. We suggest. Well, you do know for me, I want Melissa. I haven't seen her for a long time. I see why. You're still hogging attention. You think greed is more important than companionship? Ah, uh, <laughs> maybe. You know, unlike you, Daffy, I'm not interested in wealth, but interested in dating. Yeah. And for the record, Bugs, you and I have different thoughts. Well, yeah, like what? You dress up like a girl while I play ball like a man. Yeah, that's right. You don't mind if I become the cheerleader while you become... The head coach or the mascot, whatever means manlier to you. Sure, look at my muscles. I'm strong. Really, but I'm bony. But that's how I like about you. You're a noodle arm. Speaking of noodle, maybe you should do one where, no offense, go on, tell me, where you became a hostage to Crusher. Then later, that's when Bugs rescues you. Yeah, but what if he beats me up too far because you've already discovered my true weakness? Bugs, you don't have a weakness. I already saw your contact. But have you ever realized why I never come that much? Why is that? Because Bugs was afraid if anything happens to me, he'll be in pain and so will I. That's why I never done these shorts. Is it? No, but I'm still working on it. But still, I do want my own series. Let's just move on. You're right. <clears throat> well, we want Melissa and Granny and also we need Pussyfoot. I feel like I need a hug from this kitten. Yeah, at least m my daughter's a big fan to her. Yeah, right. Well, you don't like Cleo? Like her? I'm jealous. Besides, I'm not a cat person. Um, excuse me, how many times have you spent with Sylvester? Lots of times, especially I made a, a concept video where it's just me and him as pest exterminators. What for? Don't tell me. Gonzalez? Exactly. But it hasn't been published. At least not yet for a reason. Well, anyone else? Well, you do know before me there was Petuna Pig. At least she had a few short films about herself, but yet she's no longer in picture. But yet she's still occasion, at least. And we're still pending on it. Except we don't know when it'll happen yet. Right. Anyone else? Well, I don't want to remind about Miss Grusy over here because she treats me like a baby when I first saw her. And yet she keeps hogging you like Donkey Kong. Wait, you mean Miss Gruesome? Yeah, I've seen that short before. Anyone else? 
Like, how about Prissy? At least she had a few major roles, as long as Foggy's around here. Yeah, I kind of like the end happy ending part where she had Foghorn for a mate after that. You bet she, he had if it was some for a dog, for example. All right, anyone else? I prefer Penelope. We can be good, healthy friends since she's also level-headed but not too bright. Really. But yet she admits that she does like Peppy, except she can't be with him when she he reeks. Don't worry. I've been working up a formula that will keep her deodorized by the meantime, especially with these pills. But the only problem is... I have no point of reaching for them. Until then, I have to protect this Acme deodorant. How long will it last? Mm, just one episode for each. You mean the effects are temporarily? Braun, every experiment is temporarily until then. Yeah, right. But at least since Daffy has bad breath, let me brush his teeth. <laughs> Hey, my breath smells like mint. Good, Ducky. Anyone else? Let me think for a moment. Maybe Witch Hazel. I feel like I need a nemesis. Yeah, so do I. Oh, I know. There's one lady I haven't thought for a long period of time since I did my Duck Dodger series. Oh, yeah, who? Queen Tyranny. Queen who? Wait, I heard about Tyranny. She's Marvin's girlfriend, is she? A very tall one, yes. Okay, I gotta face her one of these days. Just like how Bugs did to Marvin. Yeah, it was worth a shot. Oh, no, you don't. Not this time. I'm facing the maggot. You, however, do what you do best. Oh, yeah, like what? But you have two choices. Munch on a carrot into ignorance. Anything else? Or if anything happens to her, you do the saving and I'll do the cock quack fooing stuff. You're saying that you rather face Marvin while she re he rescues Lola single-handedly? Exactly. All right, suit yourself. After all, the only true hero is saving lives is more important than challenging them. You're right, because I, wouldn't, I don't have time to mess with joiks around here. Especially Queen Tyranny, if I ever encounter her one of these days. Never mind Tyranny, but what about Agush, or whatever her name is pronounced for? Who's Agush? She's Tweety's girlfriend. At least a pink one. All she has is the ability to speak out loud for most occasionally. Really, how come I never seen her around? You know Warner Brothers, they have self-ignorance. They don't seem to recognize any issues or errors they have corrupted. Yeah, it's going to take like a generations. If we were in 2000, like 30, that's how I see it now, right now, really. Well, let's see, um, who else am I not thinking am I not going Wait, I know, how about Taz's girlfriend? Tasmanian She-Devil? Yeah, that's where I first saw her as well. And then later, that's when I tricked Taz into getting married so I can save my fur for a moment. And yet, she can still be useful. Yeah, even though you didn't came in back in action, but at least Taza did. Except, like me, she had a cameo role. She didn't have a large one. But yes, yeah, she could prove herself useful one of these days if she's interested. Yeah. I guess we could need more women muscle for this team. You're right. How come you didn't recruit her before? Because the time was almost up and I didn't have time for further recruits. All I can gather is what I can seek for. Exactly. And besides, if Algie didn't put up this clock, I would have had more time to, to gather the rest of the gang. Only for those who may be worthy for the fans. That's why I didn't have a chance to get Peppy, Penelope, Hazel, and Pussyfoot on the gang. I, I ran out of time. 
And all I did instead was put false advertisements. Next time, don't do that until you admit yourself. Okay, sorry. Who else we need? Okay, I, we got Granny, Pussyfoot, Prissy, and Melissa, and Tyranny, and Agush, and Penelope, and I think that's all the dames. You really need to create some new ones, like some who are bats and others who are raccoons. Maybe. Hey, why no? How about Melissa? Don't remind me. W remind you of what? You mean you never seen Rabbit Romeo? Uh, no, not really much. What happens in there? Let's just say in Rabbit Romeo, Bugs was expecting a much beautiful rabbit, which is me, but turns out all he got was a pig rabbit, a Sobovian one. Sobovian. Yeah, she had a Russian accent, and she was squeezing me like juice, and I almost suffocated to death. And you're lucky I could have saved you back there. Yeah, but am I a matrimony or matchmaker, though? But at least at the end, I gave her a new boyfriend, which happens to be Casba. No, FUD. But that sounds like an interesting idea. I just hope he doesn't start squeezing me out in case he sees me. I gotta see that. Maybe that explains why you didn't do your shorts, because without a, a rival or competitor, you only appear less. You're saying if I get Casba in the show, so can Lola, that way I can finally win her heart several times. Yeah, like Popeye versus Bluto. Everybody knows that. True, true, at least he won a lot of hits with one single punchline. So much. But for the record, I'd rather recruit Melissa as my nemesis. That way we can both fight for you. Really, exactly. You know, brains versus bronze. I'm the brains and she's the brawn. Mm, I would like to see you do that. <laughs> I wouldn't do that because why not? What if she enslaves you afterwards? Let her try. I'm not going to wear some raggedy clothes based on some fairy tale. But you'll look cute in the dress. But if you're going to do that, at least have one other condition. What's that? How about a pet cat to keep you company? All right. I guess that's everything, then. Yeah, that's right. Look, who knows when you'll get your short films and when you'll do a third movie just about you. Because I'm afraid it's still going to take forever until this happens. But by the meantime, let's pray that in three days, you might get, you may appear in Animaniac Season 3. Would I? Yeah. Because what if Yakko and Wako and Dot in Iraq with you, because I've been thinking this since I was a kid. Well, I don't know, what if they misplaced me again, because that, you do know this is the season finale. I wish they wouldn't waste such seasons. And yet, you had to butt in away from her, didn't you? What? I, the, the camera loves me. Ugh, ducks. Well... I just hope you appear in Coyote vs. Acme once this movie comes out. I don't know. What if she gets misplaced again? Because last time you done a movie about you guys without her, most of your fans were a little disappointed, but you still got used to it afterwards. It's true. It wasn't so I popular than the first appearance I came in. I guess without me, it's useless. But let's pretend you finally got the role for Coyote vs. Acme. Like, what would you rather be? I don't know, a judge, prosecutor of the jury, or maybe a cop? Or actually, don't say cop. Why not? I don't know, I just don't feel like comparing you.
sorry. Um, let's see. Mm. Mm. Or just a minor citizen. But whatever it is, it it wouldn't matter yet. Don't worry, Lola. So one of these days, you're going to get that short film. You're going to appear as much as you can because let's not forget that this is the year of the rabbit. And that means it's all about you, not me. Really? Well, precisely. Come here, brother. <laughs> I'm... She likes me. Okay, how about a kiss, too? Mm. Are you really going to go through with this? Maybe. I'm one special edition. I mean, a audition. I mean... I mean, occasion. I mean, condition. Thanks. If I didn't know any better, I said you're either dim-witted or just confused. I'm... I can't remember much. All right. All right, ducky. Pucker up. That's all I want to know. <laughs> what a shocking taste. Ugh. I see why they call it sour candy. That's not even a pun. You just don't know what, what you're going to say. Oh. <laughs> now that's funny. You may be my first audience, but I'm going to need more than just one laughter. So, um, at least we're in this movie only because we're lucky. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be in it. Because what if they... They dismiss me again. You're not going to be dismissed as long as they remember you or have some full-time experience. If I have to restrain them and look them, make them look straight in your face, look them in the eye like how they did in, in Hannibal Lecter. Um, actually, that's Clockwork Orange. You have to do that. But that's kind of like an interesting idea. I've seen a lot of prison movies where they restrain those prisoners into full attention and full discipline. Interesting. Are you sure? Because that seems illegal. It's best if they just figure that part themselves. Yeah. Oh, now I know what I was going to say next. Yeah, what is it, Brian? Look, if you want to compete that mouse with his theme park and those girly dresses that have no intentions for men... We're also in crisis. That means you're no better than him. You want me to compete this mouse so I could spend more time with her just like how he does it with his mate? Yes, at least they understand it. Why can't you? I don't know. It's just the way things are. But we'll see who's more prettier. Well, at least I can say one thing. Happy Valentine's Day. So, you want a milkshake? Really? What kind? Carrot. Seriously? What? I'm a rabbit, too. What else do you think I should taste? I don't know. Strawberries? Radish? Or maybe relic? That's not even a real vegan. Why? Well, it's worth it. 